Hey everybody, this video is going to be in two parts. The first is Kenneth receiving a false prophecy from God, and the second part is weeks later and what he has to say. Friday night at 9.24. Now, Gloria and my usual routine is <clears throat> we go to bed early and I listen to a couple of messages by Brother Hagen, watch the 700 Club, by, you know, 10, 10, 30, turn the light out. Well, we had just listened to Brother Hagin, that first message, and suddenly the word of the Lord came to me. So I, I jumped up, ran, got my notepad, and wrote it down. 924. This disease called CODV19 will be over much sooner than you think. As with most modern day prophets, it's very general prophecy. Much sooner than you think means nothing. But if by some way it was over the next week or two, they could point at themselves as being accurate. Christian people all over this country praying have overwhelmed it. Give me all the glory, saith the Spirit of grace. And many... Many people will come to know me through it. I'm still Lord over this nation. I'm on the throne and faith in me changes things. <laughs> yes, God is in control and any believer knows this already. But the way he's stating it makes it seem like God is concerned and maybe we're losing our faith and he needs to reassure us. The next clip is two weeks later on March 29th. We'll exercise judgment right now. Because we in have... In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We'll exercise judgment right now. Because we in have... In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, Why does he have to do this two weeks later if God already told him it's going to be over much sooner than we think? Has he lost faith in God? Does he think his words are going to have more power than God's promise he supposedly spoke to Kenneth? I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan, you destroyer, you killer, you get out, you boy break your power, you boy break your power, you boy break your power, you get off this nation. I demand Amen. judgment on you. I demand, oh. I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. I call you done. I call you don't gone. I call you don't gone. You come down from your Amen. place of authority, destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh. belly like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. Notice, one second he's yelling at the virus, then the devil, and it never really separates. I think he's kind of confused. And even the archangel Michael didn't rebuke Satan like that. He said, the Lord rebuke you. But as they say, Kenneth, pride cometh before the fall. You will destroy through COVID-19. No more! No more. No more. It no more. is... Finished. finished it is over and the United States of America is healed you, and well Thank you again Praise. but as we know the USA is not well it's actually still increasing by over 20,000 cases a day and for anyone that believes Kenneth is a true prophet of God just watch stats increase over the next weeks and realize that he is a fake and a deceiver the spirit life of COVID-19 has dried up it's dead it's dead 
It's, it's done. It has ceased. Yes. It has ceased to exist. Yes. It's beginning to shrivel. So now I'm confused. First he said it ceased, but then he says it's beginning to shrivel. It can't be both. It's either dead or it's shriveling. So there we have it. More false prophecy from Kenneth Copeland. If you do know anybody that is following this man, please show them the obvious false teachings of this guy. But until next time, stay safe and God bless.